What's up YouTube, this is iPhone Modder here and I have been doing a long awaited video that you guys have been asking me doing for months now and it is how to get this Android lock screen. But before I started, I wanna mention a few big news that I have. So basically I have a Google Plus account, a Facebook fan page and a Twitter account. Please go like slash follow slash add me to your circle on all those accounts down in the description below. Please guys, I make all these videos for you free of charge, nothing. Just I ask you only to go like these videos and subscribe of course but please do that guys that's all I ask of you now let's get started with the tweak all right guys so first thing you're gonna want to do is actually go into Cydia and in Cydia, you're going to want to type in iLock. And this tweak actually does cost, I think it's about $2. But if you have some custom repositories, which I'm not going <coughs> to... iHacksRevo.com. If you did hear that, then you're lucky. If you did not, then I'm going to say it one more time. <coughs> iHacksRevo.com. Okay, guys. So you want to add that custom repository, but I'm not suggesting you do it. If you just want to, you can add that if you want. It doesn't matter to me. But anyways, you want to go and install that tweak. Otherwise, it does cost $1.99, unfortunately. So just add that right up if you want to. And we'll just go into settings. So once you're in settings, it actually won't come up under the usual spot where Cydia apps do come up. You're actually going to need to go into general and then go down to iLock. And once you're in iLock, it'll ask you to draw your password if you haven't already. And if you have, then you'll need to confirm it just for security purposes. Then you have the option to turn it on and off, of course. Then you have advanced settings, which include making it unload when inactive. Basically, this makes it so you can use more of your RAM for other stuff. But if you want this to actually work really fast, then I suggest you put it off. But honestly, I don't see a difference, so you might as well just have it on. Visibility, you can have a tap to show, slide to show, or just have it always show. I prefer always show. And then passcode lock. Basically, if you have an iOS passcode lock, which is a four digit number, and now you can put in sentences and stuff, but you can choose to have that bypass so that doesn't even come up and just go straight to the iLock or you can enable it so that it does come with the password lock and doesn't bypass it so you have both for added security. Next, you can also select your current plugin, which I did do pattern lock because there is not available. I'm sure there is some Insidia, but it doesn't matter. Next to pattern lock settings, which are the most important, I would allow retrace because when you want to set your combo, that means that you can retrace over the same dots that you already did to make really complicated ones so none of those bad guys can hack into your phone. Allow multi-touch. I don't know if you guys saw my code, but my code does actually use two fingers and then I leave one off and then continue with one that is called multi-touch because I am using more than one finger allow adjacent moves only I suggest that you do leave that off because that means that you can't move diagonal only rectangular forms next the sound effects I don't know if you guys noticed but there's a few sound effects like if I get one wrong it makes that and if I get it right then it makes that and also the vibrations vibrations is for when you get it wrong or when you open it it gives you a vibration. Also show emergency call. I don't know if you guys notice here, but there is an emergency call button. It's really bright, so you probably can't see it, but it takes me to my emergency call and it does work a little well, but yeah, let, that's pretty much it guys. Also, this is the coolest part in my opinion. You can actually set it up so you can use bigger grid sizes. So guys, this is actually really cool. You can make one big rectangle here, one big rectangle here. I'm not gonna make it too complicated because I know I'll forget it and then you can just respring and do that. Then with five, you actually can do a lot. So you can do whoosh, whoosh, and they don't match obviously. I'm gonna go back to my three because that's what I like. Then you can also turn on use display caching. This is if you have like a 3G or like a 2G iPhone. This makes it so it doesn't run as clunky, doesn't take as, as much as your memory than it does already. And also you can delay on incorrect patterns. So basically what happens is that if you get it wrong, it just lets you try again instantly. But you can set it so there's a delay. So like, I don't know how many minutes each one of these are, but I imagine there are a few seconds and it probably goes all the way up to a minute. So you can set that to what you want guys. And that's pretty much it for this video. I've gotten a lot of requests. So that's pretty much why I did it. So guys, please like this video. Please thumb it up if you guys really enjoyed it. Please subscribe by hitting that button up there. Favorite if you want. Also guys, please go like my Facebook fan page. Links of course in the description down below. Add me to your circle on Google+. Again, links down below. And follow me on Twitter. Again, links down below. And make sure you subscribe and ultimately have a nice day.